Hello everyone, how's it going? Hello. This is Try Morning. And Lady Shrek. And as you can see, today we are playing the game called Whiteheart Woods. Now Interesting. This, this is a game which I don't know if you know this, but if you look in the lower left, it is made by No Bread. No Bread Studios. Which is They made something else we played. The creator of I don't know Soul Set. Yeah, that's the name of it. I forgot the name. I think it has been a while since Soul Set, though. Like, maybe that was 2016 or something? Whoa. But we did take a while to play it, to be fair. So, this is... I think it's the second game they're making. I could be wrong. But so far, they've released a demo for it. We're going to be trying this out. Now, I am quite familiar with Nairu from No Bread Studios. So, if there's any bias in it, I'm making aware of it now. But we're going to try to be unbiased. I don't know anyone. You do know Nairu. Well, kind of, I don't know, actually. I guess, no, I've probably been the only one to talk to her. All right, so, <laughs> fair enough. Anyway, let's uh, begin this. See what it is. I've heard this is quite different from Soul Set. I like the well. Oh, okay, yeah, there's a well. I'm, I'm glad that's the one thing you focus on immediately. Didn't you see this disclaimer? You're supposed to be disclaimed right now, not focusing I'm on the well. I'm disclaimed. So, do you want to read the disclaimer? No. I have to read it? Disclaimer. Do we have this to is read a work it of all? fiction. Names, characters. Yes, we have to disclaim the people here. They need to be properly disclaimed. Damn it. Names, characters, businesses, places, events, and incidents are either the products of the author's imaginations or are used in a fictitious manner. Any resemblance to actual persons living or dead or actual events is purely coincidental. All right. It could be a hell of a coincidence. Anyway, I was going to say, Soul Set was a bit of a mystery game, a mystery visual novel, mm -hmm. and I enjoyed it quite a bit. It's probably one of my top visual novels that we have played, I would say. Mm -hmm. It's up there. That's all I'm going to say. So, I'm not saying I have high expectations for this, but you get kind of making an assumption that I have some higher expectations than I usually do when I play visual novels. So, let's see how this goes. You're playing the demo version. The final product may change. The well's gone. Aw. Kev. Yes, you're Sylvia, I assume. Kev, wake up. Uh oh. Oh, Whoa. my goodness. Well, Sylvia first impressions, you know what they say. And she supports the Triforce. What? What's she's, going on? She's a proud oh, representative. That's you. That's you. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's a proud representative of Hyrule. Clearly, she's transposed dimensions and arrived here wherever we may be. What's going on? Get up. Something weird is going on, and I can't find either Noah or. <gasps> what the hell? Oh. Did you guys feel that? Was that an earthquake? Well, clearly we're in the middle of the woods. It must be Jason. I hope he comes crashing through the window. He's gonna throw a body in through the window. That's how it always goes. You don't get earthquakes around here, genius. Oh yeah, where are we exactly? Hyrule. I wonder if this is supposed to be actual earth. Geology isn't really my strong point. I'm assuming that soul set wasn't set on earth, or it was like a magical earth at the least. Quiet! Oh, she blinked. Listen. Okay, Navi, calm down. Uh, I don't hear anything. It's about to say I just hear the music right now. Maybe it was just a bear. A bear? And it's gone now? <gasps> oh, no. It's Jason. It is Jason. He threw something through the window. Holy shit. What is it? A rock. Just a rock? It's right there on the floor. Oh, okay. I see now. Yeah, there's no way in hell a bear would throw a rock. Noah, get up! I told you, he's not here. What? Then where? Is he outside? Did he throw a rock? Is he a he's werewolf? He's a werewolf. This doesn't seem to be going very well. Was that a howl or is that music? Oh, what? It was all a dream? Or is this a flashback? Look! Shira's here. <gasps> what? Amazing. Yeah, that is a reference to the other game, Soul Set. Look, there's if a dick got, on that There's chair. also a dick. I saw it. <laughs> I was starting to notice at the same time you did as looking around for these little Easter eggs. I wonder what else there could be. Hmm, maybe that's the only stuff. Shira was here is, is better than the dick, but the dick is pretty I, funny. That, I mean, that's pretty classical for any classroom, really. Someone has their <laughs> phone stuffed in their little desk. It's 927. It's 927. If only we could see the date. And that's it for today. I don't know if I'm a man or a woman. Well, you could be the teacher, sure. Why not? I really hope the topic is clear because I might just surprise you with an entry entry quiz next week. 
an entry quiz. Aren't we already entering to the school? I don't know. I would assume if we were sitting down here, I must have finally nodded off. Are you Kev? I knew it was coming. I assumed I was Kev. I mean, we could have switched perspectives for all I know. No, we're, we're still Kev. My brain simply doesn't do the math this early in the morning. Unless somebody spiked my coffee with pills when I wasn't looking, I hope not. Hope it's not that kind of a game. Hmm. Me? I'm a... I can't really tell. Miss. Yes. Yeah. Well, you we got that right, at least. Miss, if you say it like that, it really doesn't sound like a surprise at all. Hmm, you're right. Let me try again. I think the thing we go with is that if one of us is the narrator, the others will be the miscellaneous voices Fine. of the unimportant characters, I think. Unimportant? Are you calling my roles unimportant? Well, teacher may be important later if they actually get a name, but teacher for now I'm going to put them under the unimportant. the second lead. Yeah, we'll see. Surprise! There will be an entry quiz next week. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Cheer up! The school year is almost over. So then what's an what entry quiz? I don't know what an entry quiz is. That can be... I, I know that... I forget exactly where she's from, but she's... I'm going to say somewhere in Europe. Hopefully I'm right about that. So maybe that's a European thing somewhere in maybe one of the many like countries. Maybe it's a pop quiz. A pop quiz, probably. Well, maybe. I think of entry exams as things you take to get into schools. But this is an entry quiz. An entry quiz. Maybe we're like preparing to take an entry exam for college? I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. You really don't have to rub it in, you know. Yawn, stretch. Still, what a strange dream. What was it all about? So it was a dream. Something about a room, I think? Or a premonition? <gasps> oh, and Sylvie was there? I'm pretty sure that was her. And somebody asked, but what if this is the dream and oh, that was reality? snap. Actually, that reminds me. It's almost time. Just a few more weeks. Let's see if... Let's see if Crazy's out of her bed yet. I wonder who that refers to. And the ones we met before? Now it's 12.46. I'm getting mixed signals. Oh, yeah. And look, those phones. Well, maybe someone set their phone time incorrectly. Although they usually just set themselves automatically. Someone somehow managed. Hey, Sylvia, you up? Sure am. Hi, Kevcake. Oh, I believe that's the cat from the other game as well. <gasps> what was his name? Uh, it was something cute. I don't remember. I it's did gonna notice bother that, me now. that the main character was wearing a burger on his shirt in the opening, like, graphic. Oh, yeah? So I'm excited that it was, in fact, a burger. All right. Well, I'll think about that. Already? Well, that's new. Hey, adulting is hard, you know. I need my rest. Come in. Oh, please. Do tell how hard it is to finally live alone without having to take care of anyone else. Harder than you think, smartass. And I brought Drummy with me this time. She makes enough trouble for two. Is Drummy the cat? That's not the cat's name in the first game, anyway. <laughs> well, I know I, it's not I Drummy. No, but maybe this cat is Drummy. Could be. Drumstick? Why bring her now? Yes. That cat is crazy. She's a sweetheart, and I love her. You leave her alone. Also, I didn't want to leave her alone with that woman, and Dad is too busy. That woman? Who? Okay. Dad's girlfriend. How are the finals coming along? Kev, I swear you are bumming me out today. I'm almost done with them, though. That good, huh? Well, at least you have the trip to look forward to. Yes, please. That can't Wait, are we taking a trip to a cabin? Then that should really ring some alarm bells if you're having bad dreams about it. We're having premonitions. Trick. The sun, the lake, no big city noise, and no people. I'll finally be able to properly relax. All right, then it does sound like we're having some kind of premonition. That is the destination indeed. Double trouble are coming to you now. Just give them a boat and they'll be gone fishing for most of the day. And I still like the wild bunch better. DT is lame. Double trouble? Sylvia, it's only my uncle and your dad. That's not enough people for a bunch. Wild bunch just sound better to me. It has more oomph. Ooh. Anyway, I hope you're just as excited about this as I am. Oh, all right, we got our decision. I'm guessing that girl in the nighty was not an uncle or his brother or his dad, so I can't. I mean, let's hope that it's <laughs> not, not but you never know anymore. Uh, let's see. I was going to say we'll go with the enthusiastic option, but they're both... Well, I guess this is def we have two exclamation points, so this is more enthusiastic. Mm. Though I am curious to see what changes well, because I have the feeling we're going to have like Jason or some other serial killer trying to kill us from the looks of that dream sequence. It's probably... A walking shark, and it's Jawson. What? What? Jawson? <laughs> yes. 
Well, that's a weird mix if you had to choose two to combine. Dark Jaws Week is and coming, Jason. I'm just saying. All right, well, maybe you guess the twist. <laughs> now Niger's going to be so pissed just to rewrite the entire thing. <laughs> I don't know. They guessed the twist already. Jawson. <laughs> How could they see that coming? It was pretty obvious. You know I am. I've waited a whole year for this. That makes me happy. <laughs> anyway, got to go clean up a bit. I'm having a few folks over later today. See you, Kevin. Yeah, have a good... Okay. Whoa. Do oh get... my god, what is going on here? We're getting slapped? Look, he has a burger on his shirt, I told you. Oh, he does have a burger on his shirt. And look, he has a little unicorn blob on his phone. He does have a little unicorn blob thingy on his phone. And he also has pens and pencils. Who holds pencil like that? I don't know. Why is it both at the same time? <laughs> While on his phone. That's very... That's a lot of stuff. Anyway. You've been so busy and focused on typing away that you didn't even notice me. Oh, boy. Oh, it's just you, Marie. Don't scare me like that. I almost dropped my phone. Well, try paying more attention to your surrounding this time. Oh, it's not just Marie. It's Himari. Himari? Um, Probably Himari. 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 Uh, whatever. She reminds me of the character in the first game a bit. What's her name? Which one? Marika. That's what it was. Oh, the main one? Yeah, the main one. The main girl. That's what I was also kind of like startled when I was like, oh, it's just Marie. And like, oh, it's kind of like Marika, that name. And there's a whole thing of the name sounding similar in that game, too. Mm -mm. And I also know you tend to do this while walking around, so if one day you hurt yourself, I'll never let you hear the end of it. We're not walking around now. Clearly. Uh, let's try to stay on her good side. We're going to try to stay on people's good side as much as possible. Seems to be the right choice for these games. All right, I'm sorry. You say oh. you're sorry, but do you really mean it? Just know we're sincere. Come on, you know me. Exactly. Damn it. It's completely ineffective. Were you texting with Sylvia by any chance? Do we have a love triangle going on already? Yeah, we... Hey, were you watching my screen all this time? That's an invasion of privacy. No, of course not. Yeah, and I know better than accept that answer. I would never do that to you, or anyone else. <laughs> it's just that, well, she's been using that goofy-looking avatar for years now, and it caught my eye when I was passing by. Interesting. You just had to be looking by. How does she know what Sylvia's avatar looks like? Has she been sneaking glances at my phone for that long? Just digging a deeper and deeper hole for herself. <laughs> I'm not sure if I should be surprised anymore. Hardly anything ever escapes Amari's attention. So you did look. <laughs> Maybe. Just a little. But it wasn't on purpose. Relax, Marie. It's not like it was a secret or anything. We were just talking about her summer trip up north to my uncle's cabin. And her cat. But I hate that darn thing. So mostly about the trip. Right. It's that time of year again. Honestly, aren't you guys bored of these little outings by now? I mean, we haven't even gone yet, so how can we be bored? I don't think I'll ever get bored of them. I guess we do this every year. It's good to get away from civilization every once in a while. You're just grumpy because you've never been on such an amazing adventure yourself. Yeah, I'm sure that's what it is. Oh, really? Then tell me, Kevin, how can being stuck in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by nothing but trees for miles on end, be an amazing adventure? Well, why don't you just join us so you don't have to be so jealous? You have I to stop don't want obsessing. someone like that ruining my trip. <laughs> I know. But it's clearly that's what she's upset about. You have to stop obsessing about those trees, Marie. I'm not really obsessing. But, to answer your question. One, you are totally alone there. And no one around you can just slow down and have a truly meaningful conversation with yourself. Oh, and with no one around, you can just slow down and have a truly meaningful conversation with yourself. I was going to be like, two, you're not there. <laughs> I, was like, I don't know, put up with your crap. <laughs> Allowed, like crazy people do? They can help you understand yourself better, you know? Right. Yeah, that's right. Two, there's no internet, no cell phone service, no telemarketing, no constant electronic spying and surveillance. Wait, why would anyone be spying on us? Oh, come on, you naive summer child. Please, Marie, don't be so naive. <laughs> Someone's always watching. In my case, it was you just two seconds ago. <laughs> you might be getting a tad paranoid lately, Kevin. You can never be too careful about these things. Three, there's... 
Okay, okay, that's quite enough. We only got to two, so you just don't get it. Oh. Take me with you. I knew it. Excuse me. Who are you and what have you done with Marie? I said take me with you. I'd like to go with you this time around. Show me what's so fun about it. Whoa, hold your horses. Did I hear that right? You always vehemently refused when I asked you to go in the past. I don't believe I've swayed you to change your mind just now. What happened? N nothing. I just thought I'd give it a try. After all, you keep saying how much fun it is and you've been going out there for years. One would think you should know what you're talking about by now. Huh. Hmm. Are you sure you're feeling alright, Marie? You're not having any issues with your health again, are you? Do you have a fever? Let me touch your forehead. So she what? had health issues in the past? What's that about? Fine. Do whatever you want. Whatever? Uh, that's a dangerous thing to say. Well, it doesn't feel hot. Maybe a little cold, even. Huh? I've been doing a lot better lately. She's a vampire confirmed. There did sound like there was something in the woods that may have been a werewolf, but I'm not that really sure. That was Jawson. Oh, Jawson. I forgot. <laughs> Going for walks regularly. Clearly, this is Jawson. <laughs> no, she's in not human Jawson. Form. She was inside. Getting a lot of fresh air. I even let mom drag me to some of those yoga classes she's so crazy about. So you say. Oh no, it's student A again. Hey, hey, did you hear? Oh no, silhouettes. Wendy finally got herself a boyfriend. Oh, so? I hear she has a lot of, uh, <laughs> boyfriends. One for every single day of the week. No, no, I mean a boyfriend. Singular. Oh. You have to be kidding. How'd that happen? What'd he do? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of scared to see how she got that nickname based on what just transpired. Oh, God. The Wendy? Handy Wendy? <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> No. Come on, Wendy game. Harper, yes. Oh boy. <laughs> Enter Sam Beckett. This takes me back, huh? Oh man. That guy is in for the ride of his life. That girl is crazy. Why would you say that? Whoa. Well, she's a succubus now, isn't she? Oh, of course. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a joke or not. I guess we'll see soon. Yeah, so? Do you really think that's a good enough reason to call her a freak? I should probably continually add on to these things about the previous game that we know of, in case people haven't seen it. In the previous game, there were weird creatures like succub- Was there a succubus? I don't know if there was a succubus or not, but there was definitely like a female demon, and I think it may have been a succubus. I don't remember Do you remember what the she was. I remember her, but I don't remember if she was a succubus. And for a while, we thought one of the guys transformed into her, but we found out that that was just a coincidence. And there, yes. But he also could transform into a demon as well. Oh, yes. But it's a different demon. Yes. How but for a while, we thought he was like a sex-changing demon. And we're like, <laughs> oh my god, this game is crazy. <laughs> so, uh... I'm not sure whether this is a joke or not in this game, because so far, at least now, this is a relatively mundane, normal setting at the school. But we do know something weird happens in the woods later. Right. Anyway, let's uh, proceed here. This is a difficult time for her. Coming to terms with such a big change can't be easy, you know? It has to be serious, then. Literal succubus. I, I guess so. What? A freak? I didn't say that. I get that our world would get flipped upside down. What I mean to say is how different she is now compared to how she used to be. Before, you know, all that stuff that happened to her, she used to be such a quiet girl. It's not her fault, though. It's not like she could have resisted the change. No one could. Interesting. Maybe she was simply at the wrong place at the wrong time. Still, in a way, she's actually one of the lucky ones. She didn't end up like Keith and his family, at least. What happened to Keith and his family? Jawson. <laughs> That's for sure. They're still looking for them, right? No news on that front? No, unfortunately. I guess it ended up as Jawson. <laughs> Everything went quiet once they got the area stabilized and were able to evacuate the rest of his neighborhood. They had to evacuate the entire neighborhood? Damn it, there must have been signs. Power outages, weird sounds, smells, anything. You 
think someone would have seen something out of the ordinary. Yet nothing was reported, again. How much longer will it take for people to understand that this is not going away? Not by a long shot, what is going on? Things seem to have settled down a bit, at the very least. Just a few accidents here and there during the past few months. Nothing's- Oh man, I really hope this isn't Y2K again. <laughs> well, not counting Keith. Oh well, it's no use worrying about it now. That's true. On second thought, you know what? I'm actually jealous of that guy. Huh? What? I mean, just think what, this night, what his nights will look like from now on. Oh, about the... Okay. Man, I'm actually imagining it right now. Don't imagine it. No, we don't need a cutscene. You're hopeless. Okay. A hopeless pervert. Nice. I should have known. <laughs> Teasing Marie never gets old. Still, why is this whole thing such a touchy subject to her? You know I'm only joking, right? Are you now? You out of all people should know this already, Marie. I'm a good boy. That's creepy. <laughs> if you say so. So who's the lucky guy? Is it Noah? Well, it's... Oh no! Well, someone's late. Look at this dude. Oh my god, his Look soundtrack. This badass. He got a soundtrack. Well, obviously a guy <laughs> like this needs his own soundtrack. Look at him. <laughs> Looks like a uh, very rebellious Targaryen. <laughs> <laughs> it's like teenage <laughs> Satanist years. <laughs> very angry by the looks of it. But the timing of this was just too perfect. Why does he have one Don't. tiny rip by his collar? It's just so small. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's from the girl he's just with. Oh. Tearing at his collar like that. Don't tell me it's Noah. I'm what? It's the lucky guy. The roughest voice possible. <laughs> so I swear for as long as I've known you, there hasn't been a single day in my life that I could be considered normal. Not a single one. <laughs> what is this? What is going on? <laughs> what has he been smoking this time? Oh my god, his dark circles are so dark. <laughs> <laughs> I don't smoke, and you know that. Smoking too much of the halfling's <laughs> weed again, I see. <laughs> oh my god, the question is... What have you been smoking, and why have you been doing it right before class? Can't you tell them I'm a rebel? I tried once, but I didn't like the taste. The class you're late for, need I point out again? I don't think he's listening, Marie. Be quiet for a minute, will you? I have to interrupt every word. Can do. Ugh, not you! Him! Oh, okay. Noah, what is happening with you lately? What do you think? Yeah, I... I had some things. Some things going on. It's none of your business, so don't worry about it. I told you time and time again not to smoke right before class. You stink like an ashtray. Oh, <laughs> really? An ashtray? I thought it was something else. I thought it was something more suspicious with the, the way it has been going so far. <laughs> People can smell you before they even see you. You're going to get into trouble. <laughs> all that smoke has already aged you 40 years. Look at all your white hair. <laughs> and your eyes. <laughs> Do you just rub like the tar from the cigarettes <laughs> yes. like on his eyes? That's how he makes do. Don't need eyeliner. It's fashion. Oh, what? What? what is going what, on? What are we doing? Bumping around. Okay, guys. I think that's enough of that for what? What? Enough of what? We barely talked. Enough, enough of that bumping. for one morning. Murray has a point, though. I can almost see that cloud of smoke following you, man. That's my black cloud of uh, despair. Noted. <laughs> Wait. Now what? Now what? You have a new... I noticed it. I noticed oh, it. Oh. You have a new hole in your observant. shirt. In addition to the three I spotted two days ago, there are no other three. Yeah, they're on the back. Three. And what, so you use the same shirt every day, then? Lay off me, woman. I'm waging a war here for fuck's sake. <gasps> waging Dare a war? You speak to me that way, Targaryen. It's a war of the usurper. Speaking <laughs> of which. Oh, this is the other guy. Speaking of which. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's put those weird symbols. Well, I, I feel like we're addressing the same thing either way. Maybe. I mean, I'm assuming the fashion includes the. 
Well, I mean, these are both very valid questions. Can I save? Yeah, okay. I remember in the save past. Save it this question. <laughs> it's very important. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, happy 4th of July, July, guys, by the way. He is wearing red, white, and blue. He's celebrating his independence <laughs> from uh, good fashion choices. But he has handy Wendy, so it's okay. Do the symbols. I mean, we're still assuming that he's the one that ended up with her. I still assume that, too. What's up with all those weird symbols? Wait, is that a triquetra and a pentagram? Is no one's a heavy metal now? But he wasn't before. Is it a heavy metal of the 80s? <laughs> I mean, it's been some time. You plan on starting a metal band or something? Or a cult? Yeah, I'll write songs about you while I'm riding in jail. What is going on? The first one style's gonna be, don't play dumb. I'm gonna become an overnight hit for sure. Yeah, he definitely woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. What's happening? Questionable music tastes aside. Would my kind, caring, and just a tad overbearing friend mind lending me her notes? Yeah, of course. Sometimes I wonder if that's what we are, we still are these days. <sighs> They're on my desk. Such badass music still playing. Oh no, his theme's fading out. He's no. gone. No. <laughs> I swear, there's been something off about him lately. I miss what him was already. your first clue? I miss him already. That was such a grand entrance. I know. I like how they're just like looking longingly. <laughs> I know. Lately, he's been acting weird for months now, Kevin. Since March, to be exact. Guess I'm not the only one who noticed that little detail. Little detail? I've Which tried part of that was little? I've tried to talk to him, but he never tells me anything anymore. He just brushes me off and says it's nothing. Well, it's clearly something. He's always been a little distant, but now he's simply aloof. More aloof than the last time I talked to him, anyway. Hmm, hmm indeed. What's hey, our on. here's an idea. I was going to say, what's our poor little buddy's problem? Why don't we take him with us? Is it just girl trouble or is it something else? You mean up north? How far north are we going? Himari, you know I tried asking both of you to go in the past, and both of you shot me down every time. Besides, weren't you against the idea of going there just barely a few minutes ago? I told you, I've changed my mind. I see. Noah, he's not been his usual self for a while now. I don't like it one bit. Hmm. Maybe this time he'll agree to go as well. I think a little change of scenery would do him some good. It's probably going to take a little bit more than that. We're going to need to see some intervention. Plus, at this point, I'm ready to try just about anything to snap him out of the strange funk it is. Yeah, then again, I guess a cab in the woods is about as good a place to do it as any. Well, until Drawson shows up, because <laughs> it's clearly going to ruin everything. <laughs> maybe you're right, Amari. Just maybe you're right. I guess it doesn't hurt to ask. I'll talk to him right after class. I'll come with you. You know how persuasive I can be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course. There's no way I'll say no if we're both asking him. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> we're gonna get such hijinks now. What is this? Oh my, it looks so beautiful from up here. We're flying. Oh, I guess we are. What? We're on Uncle seaplane. Roscoe. Uncle Roscoe. <laughs> it sure does. Oh my god. Uncle a veritable so sea of green stretching as far as the eye can see. And the lakes, their water shimmering like gemstones in the summer sun. And poetic. I have no idea what Uncle Roscoe looks like. It's probably completely unfitting. <laughs> you know what I'm uh, imagining right now? With what? the seaplane, I'm thinking of a uh, tailspin. It's oh like my blue. God. <laughs> or, I don't know if it's supposed to be blue's relative or whatever. Oh, I tell you, kiddo, you've never seen a more beautiful and intense shade of blue. Sorry, Marie. My uncle always gets a little too excited on these trips, as you can tell from his voice. No, it's perfectly fine. Besides, your stories and even the pictures you show me do not do this place justice. You'd always get right to the parts about how big the fish you caught was, or how you killed hornets with a shovel, or how you almost set fire to the cabin that one time. Oh, <laughs> wait! What was that? Nothing. Nothing important, uncle. Thanks for that, Himari. Anytime. Sorry. <laughs> of course. 
Wait, I don't no know one's who's flying the this. Oh no. And there's a creepy anime girl. Oh, it's is that Shira? It is. We get. Oh, and look, that's the demon. And it says Yaoi. Oh. What? Oh what? no, this is. But like Uncle Roscoe, maybe hide that Uncle when you have Roscoe? teenage girls in your plane. <laughs> Uncle Roscoe is a bit of a creep. We didn't know that when we got on his plane. <laughs> anyway. From the way you explained it, one might think the place is nothing but mud, dirt, creepy, and sex and fish. And you know how much I hate fish. So, spoiler for Soul Set, but it's good to know that so far that- uh, And the cat! Oh, oh yeah, the cat- Oh, God. Well, considering he's into yaoi and traps, I guess there's also cats, which hopefully he's just into them as a pet. Nothing more. But Uncle Roscoe, I am very suspicious of you. <laughs> Anything else? No, he just has maps. Yeah, there's a lot of details hidden in this game. You have to look around, it looks like. I wonder if you could read it's on the radio. I don't know if that's a radio, but whatever that little thing says. I can't tell. Oh. Oh ho! Might just be the coordinates or whatever. Is that so, princess? Do you have a thing? <laughs> you don't. Hmm. Well, you're right. It's all these things and more. What do you mean? Well, it's got bugs aplenty. Ticks being my personal favorite. Mm. There are also those big, long centipedes that you can sometimes see crawling out of your shoe in the morning. You're kidding, right? Oh, I wish I was. Tell her, Kev. We haven't even gotten to the part about Uncle Roscoe and he does in the morning. <laughs> uh, should we continue frightening her or should say try to downplay it? What do you think? I would continue with the bears. Don't even get me started on those bears. Bears? Like the big fluffy ones? No, I mean Uncle Roscoe. <laughs> yeah, the ones that can drag you down to the river and bite your head off if you're not careful. Does playing dead work? It always works in movies. Eh, I think it works sometimes, but other times it'll just kill you Spot anyway. You. Especially if the cubs are nearby. Remember we saw a cub. That's right. We were on a trip in... Yosemite. Yosemite. And there's a little bear cub, and then, like, the ranger were trying to like, chase it off or whatever. They were shooting it with paintball guns. They had to shoot it with paintball guns. I was so sad. But, like, I, f I saw it, and I'm like, there's a bear, there's a bear, and then, like, they're shooting it! <laughs> like, freaking <laughs> out. But then we, like, read about it, and they shoot it with, like, blank paintball. I think it's just water. To scare something. away from, uh, from the, the human people. So they, areas. Yeah, they go back home to the forest. Oh. Such a kind offer. But bears aside, there's also lots of those small bats flying around in the night. Oh, I actually like but Huge. I meant to say huge bats flying around. Probably rabbit too. You should have done this like before she was on the plane and then she might have gone away, but like now you can't. That doesn't seem- That's me. Oh, 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 well, well then you took too long to read it. <laughs> Go ahead, you can do it. I I'll don't remember you. what it said already. And ha 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 ha, oh, this is the best part. You couldn't remember that one line. No. There's no hot water and you actually have to go outside to do your business. Wait, really? Surely you're choking. Surely you just. Ha 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 priceless. Who's Nick? I don't know. Is that dad? I, I guess, because we went to our uncle and dad. Stop giving the girl a hard time, Sylvia. Oh. oh my god. Roscoe installed a water heater in the cabin years ago. He's a marine or <gasps> <gasps> Sure did. <laughs> I haven't put a mailbox out near the pier. <laughs> well, you'd get a mailman to go all the way out there. That's why it's funny. I thought you'd appreciate that. What's wrong? You've been grumpy all morning. Are you feeling all right? Well, not really. Maybe it was something I ate. Um, I'll be fine, don't worry. I sure hope so. <laughs> Look, it looks like it says don't fuck drunk by his chin. What? It just says don't F drunk. It probably says uh, fly. I see. But it's amusing to me. Anyway, you can have all the hot water you want, miss. As long as you keep the water tank full. Oh, thank the heavens. Sylvia's right about the other thing, though. My place is practically in the middle of nowhere. No other settlements or cabins for miles. Not to my knowledge. With no sewage system to connect to, it was easier to just dig another outhouse. An outhouse? 
an outside crapper, princess. I know what an outhouse is. It's just that I've never had to use one before. Just be careful not to get a splinter in your ass. Oh no. I won't. <laughs> There's no chance of that happening, let me assure you. My craftsmanship is top notch. I take pride in my work. Still seems pretty dreadful, huh? N no, it doesn't sound so bad, as long as there's hot water at least. You're such a bad liar, princess. Why do you keep calling me that? Because we watched way too much of The Legend of Zelda back in the late 80s, 90s. Well, she it was. is a fan of it. She had the tri uh, Triforce oh, on Oh, that's her. right. Excuse me. <laughs> Have I done something wrong? Is that why you're trying to get a rise out of me? You've been making these little jabs since the moment we met. I have no idea what you're talking about. No clue. Yeah, Sylvia, I've known you for years and this is the first time I've seen you this snappy. What gives? I'm not being snappy. I'm just a little bit irritated that you would allow your girlfriend to come out on a trip like this in what appears uh, to be a jogging outfit. Excuse me? I'm not as... We're not like that! But, well, your wearing looks pretty similar, I have to say. Your jackets, at least. Uh, whatever. Ha! That's a good one, Sylvia. But we've known each other since we were... Five, six years old? She's like a little sister to me. That's what they always say. Six years old, and I'm the older one. Yeah, by a few weeks. Big deal. It's worse than I thought. Oh, no. Did you say something? Nothing. Anyway, she is obviously not ready for this trip. I thought you'd tell her to prepare better than this. I told her about all the important stuff. And it's not like we're gonna be mountain climbing, Sylve. We didn't mention the Jawson, though, so <laughs> I don't know. They really get it prepared. We're just here to camp, relax, and have a good time for a few days, right? <laughs> oh man, maybe these people are like the, uh, we were at that stupid TV show we saw a few months ago with the redneck hunters that were looking for Bigfoot and all that other shit. Oh my god, that was amazing. Maybe what these guys are like. I don't remember. It <laughs> it's good to be young, huh, Nick? What? Oh, yeah, it is. I sure don't remember feeling this bad after eating a few pickled mushrooms when I was in my 20s. What? Oh, stop that! I brought a few bottles of my special spirits. They'll make you feel right as rain in a jiffy, one way or the other. Don't tell me you wanna. Are we gonna be drunk flying? Yep, sure do. We're doing this. No, no, no. Don't fly drunk. What are they talking about? Mr. Braddock, please. My father's not well. Maybe you should postpone the festivities till he recovers. Nonsense, my girl. A little drink will cure him of his maladies right away. Who's this? Is it Noah? I definitely need a drink. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the, now the color got, has gone to his forehead and his shirt. Now I've got a new song from too. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even talk. Wait, so there are siblings, Sylvia and Kev? I'm still not sure of the relationships. Sorry. Maybe they're, but she just said Mr. Braddock, my dad, or something. So now I'm confused. Oops. Anyway, maybe they're cousins? I missed whatever it was. Oh, I, I completely you forgot your other friend was here, Kev. What? <laughs> How? He was just How beside you, you all like this, this time <laughs> with his own theme song. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. He kind of blended in with the baggage. Do you have purple baggage now? Noah. <laughs> Noah, you all right there, buddy? You've been a little quiet. They just spoke up now. I said I need a drink <laughs> and a smoke. I hope we can romance him because he's so horrible. I love him so much. What would the pilot and the co-pilot think about this guy? I, I feel like they would clash with him rather largely. I know. What about his outfit that he wore camping? No one's mentioning that. <laughs> like, you didn't get your girlfriend ready for camping unless you're wearing the same thing I am. Oh, but he looks fine. <laughs> no, we invited you along so you could take a break from all that. You mean you dragged me along? I'm here only because you wouldn't leave me alone, Himari did this to me. He has a fang too. I dragged you? They all do. Your eyes lit up the moment we mentioned the cabin was located in the middle of nowhere. Oh god. I think I'm gonna be sick. 
We're doing this to help you. Well, then you're not doing a very good job of it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ew, stop it. You're making my throat feel good. <laughs> stop it. There, there. Just get that filthy nicotine out of your system. Hey, boy. <laughs> Is this your first time flying? It's my last, last time. time. We still have to get back. Oh. <laughs> we still have to fly back, you know. I hate this plane. I hate this trip. And now I hate you. <laughs> Hold on your backpack, kids. We're about to land. Oh boy, here we go. This is gonna be bumpy. This game is perfect. I love it so far. <laughs> Me too. The characters in the other game are all great, and I love this new batch of characters. I wasn't sure I was gonna like them at first, but I'm really starting to enjoy them already. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. You know Actually, who your favorite is. I, I think I know. <laughs> I'm gonna puke my guts out. <laughs> He's my favorite too. Yay! The well! So that's the famous cabin I've heard so much about. The one and only. Wait until you see it up close. It's got every luxury you can think of. It sure does not look like it. Where's the outhouse? I don't see it. Just sit on the well. Hey, Roscoe. Yeah? You said there were no mailmen around here, right? Well, obviously. There's nobody around here for miles on end. Then... Yeah, can you explain that? Oh, I get it. Good one, soldier. You almost got me for a moment there. Dad, what are you talking about? Don't you see the mailbox? Oh, I should've known they're related. Look at their hair and eyes. Yeah, you should've known, yeah. Yeah, what of it? Oh, you mean the flag. Uh... The flag's up. The flag's up, meaning that there's something inside. Right? What do you know? Kevin knows his stuff. Did you just Google that? No. What? Should I remind you that there's no internet here? Do people not know how mailboxes work in the future? I guess not. So what this means... Is that either there was someone here... An animal could have done it. Or that Roscoe is pulling our or leg. Or the wind. Or, or maybe he just has a mailbox he always leaves up for some reason. I don't know. Did you leave it like that the last time you were here? Or are the bears taking care of your mail nowadays? Hell, maybe they do. I don't remember leaving it like that, but who knows? Maybe I did. I don't even recall a mailbox being there last time I visited. But he said it was there when we were on the plane. Whatever. Who cares? I'll, although it probably will be important later. It's not like it matters. Uncle must have visited this place some... Yeah. Uncle must have visited this count this place countless times without us... Oh, this... Wait a second. We've changed perspective. This is supposed to be you now. It is? I think. I, I think we answered as the girl before. Or maybe we didn't. No, we asked just the guy. Okay, yeah, I guess this. Okay, so this is our uncle, but it's her dad, right? I'm, I'm like, I'm Maybe it's both our. We might be siblings. I'm still unsure of the relationship. <laughs> Me anyway, I guess us or cousins. So that's just a mailbox. Big deal. So what's inside? Don't tell me there's actual mail. How do you expect Jawson to communicate with the world? <laughs> I don't know. Let's take a look. He has to have a mailbox. Oh, there's something inside. It's a rock. It's a rock. <laughs> That's exactly what I said. Well, do you want any rocks? <laughs> Not that I recall. Besides, I have an interesting rock. I'm going to put it back so that the bear mail can return it to whatever part of the woods it came from. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's go. I'm starving. Didn't you see? Hey, no, you coming? Yeah. Earth to Noah, hey. Huh? Yeah, this guy is out of it. What the hell? The flame must have really messed you up. Do you need some help? <sighs> no, it's fine. I'm fine. Well, come on. We're going to be left behind. It's right there. Kevin. Yeah? 
You're absolutely sure there's nobody else here besides us? Alright, don't tell me that rock gave you a scare. Come on, man, it's not the first time I've been here, and I've never seen anyone. Give me some credit. I suppose if you say so, then there should be nothing to worry about. Oh, no. Uh oh, meanwhile. Oh, back in the... I guess this is where we left off. But wait, the rock's not in here. Oh. Noah, get up! And we're, she's wearing different clothes, isn't yeah. she? I told you, he's not here! That was right before, okay. Huh? What is going on here? This weird feeling. Could it be another time loop? Mm. We're stuck in a time loop again? <gasps> I just read like a book about a time loop. From back then. Kevin. Yeah? Now you're the one spacing out. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I just had the weirdest case of deja vu. What, about this place? Well, you've been here before, supposedly. I was. A few years ago. This odd feeling, though. Did I just remember that dream I had? Or... Or... Ooh, spooky. You need a moment? No, it's nothing. Forget it. I'm coming. Do you like our camo hoodie? No. Aww. Granted, the last time I was here, it was still before things started going completely haywire. Huh? What? Whether well, anything's changed in the meantime. I guess he means around their neighborhood, like with whatever the he was talking about. And I still don't know if that was serious or not. That, that's weird stuff. And, someone's and is Noah actually dating her or not? I must mm, know. We don't know. I guess we're about to find out. That would be why he'd be so tired. There's like a succubus draining the energy <laughs> out from him every night. Seems like a valid reason. To there we go. To be continued. No. Oh, what a cliffhanger. He hey, wait. Oh, oh, Clarissa. My God. What about me? Where's my screen time? There wasn't enough time for you yet. I didn't get to make an appearance yet. Oh, sorry, Clarissa. You're bits of further into the story. Don't worry, though. The players will have something to look forward to, right? Just trust the creators to omit a fine lady such as myself. <laughs> Who wrote this? I'd like to have a word with them. <laughs> Don't look at me. <sighs> I suppose it can't be helped. Thank you for playing the demo <laughs> version of White Heart Woods, darlings. I hope to see you again soon. Such an irate ending. That's the spirit. What's this creepy music, though? I don't know. See you guys around. Look at his creepy smile. Way to give me a bad vibe of the ending there. What the hell? Oh, that is a very interesting intro. I have to say, I was unsure what was going on for uh, the beginning there. But I am definitely interested now that we've introduced these characters and we've seen uh, the relationships between them. I, I quite enjoy their interactions. <laughs> me too. Which is probably my favorite part of Soul Set as well. So I guess it's appropriate enough that these characters are well written too. Mm hmm. Oh, you're welcome. I'm glad to have played this. So I'm not sure exactly when the full version of this will be out. I believe uh, it doesn't list it here, but I think there's a Kickstarter or. It just said it. Oh. It said support us on Kickstarter. <laughs> there you go. You know I don't pay attention to the screen half the damn time. So there's a Kickstarter. And I don't know how long it runs to. But you could probably find the link in our, uh, what do you call that? Description? Description? Whatever they call on YouTube these days, because I don't pay attention. So I would support them if I were you. Although, like I said before, I am biased because I like Nairu and her other games, or the other game that we played from her. So I'm very interested in seeing this done. And uh, Do you know the other person too? Mist Mori? Uh, I, th I think I may have talked to them at one point too a little bit. In, I don't know if it was like a comment, but I am familiar with that name. Are they Polish? Someone was They're Polish. They're Polish, I believe. I didn't want to say because I wasn't totally 100% certain, but they are Polish. I think there's some other people that we have played games from that were Polish too. Oh, no. So I wasn't sure. Then. No, they may be Polish too. Don't get me wrong. I think that does sound valid. But uh, yeah, it seems we played games by a number of Polish people, which is interesting. Polish people are cool. They man. are pretty cool. I will give them that. They write some pretty cool games, it seems. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this. Like I said, if you like this game, uh, feel free to check out their Kickstarter and support them. I have no idea because I haven't looked at it myself yet, so I don't know what the tiers are or whatever the offers uh, 
whatever they call them, perks? Yeah, I don't know what they may be. But, we will be playing this full thing, because just from playing this hour or so, I'm invested. Mm -hmm. I need to see what happens to these characters. Look, Noah has a gun, Noah, I, think. I find to be very interesting as a character. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> Me too. I like the voice I chose for him. I like the voice I chose for most of the characters. Uh, Roscoe, I had no idea what he was going to look like, but it seemed very fitting, <laughs> yes, the voice I chose, just it by did. pure coincidence. Well, remember how I chose that voice for, what was her name, Shira or whatever? And then she turned out to actually be a dude, and I was like, oh I know. my god. That was perfect, too. Lots of connections with the other game. Yes. They, they might just be Easter eggs, but it, if there is a supernatural element, it could be set in the same world, but this is like hundreds of years in the future, mm -hmm. and we're seeing it with modern technology, mm -hmm. which could also be an interesting setting. Mm -hmm. Jawson. Jawson is our own... <laughs> our own idea of what may be attacking us, but it could maybe be something else. Maybe Jawson is a Kickstarter perk if they earn enough. I hope it is. Put in Jawson. Maybe that is. Maybe it's a design your own monster. We'll have to check Jawson, it out. Jawson, yes. Anyway, that's enough about that. So I think we'll uh, conclude things there. Thank you for watching once again. I hope you like the game. I do. And if you do, check them out. They do have another game, Soul Set, which you could check out as well, and that is available to play. So, do so if you liked it. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's been a while since we capped off an episode, so that's why we take forever to end it, as always. <laughs> we'll be seeing you again in the next video. Until then... Bye. So long and bear well. Oh. Yeah, we're still doing it. But it, this isn't any... There's no bears. Th well, there, is there was a bear. a bear. He left some bear mail. <gasps> oh my god, we didn't think about <gasps> oh that. Oh my god. It's Monokuma. It's Monokuma. Or the Mono Cubs. The Mono Cubs had to find a new job after the end of the last oh, game. Oh no. Like, we're not making Danganronpas anymore, so we have to go to a new game. Oh no. Someone has to earn a living somehow. Anyway, guys. Yeah, once again. So long. So long. Bear, bear well. well. Look out for Jawson. <laughs>